Hi, my name is Nyara, so you can call me Nyari Mashemwami. I'm a women's rights activist and I'm also a feminist. I'm a businesswoman and a philanthropist. If you go online, you're going to realize that I'm also an artist. The first question is, what is your definition of feminist leadership? So feminist leadership for me is the recognition that women lead differently. Um, and there's, there are so many intersectionalities between um, the, the uniqueness of women and the ordinary mainline uh, leadership and also the challenges of leading as a woman as well as the opportunities that comes with it. So for example, when I'm thinking of a woman as a leader, I'm thinking of some of the opportunities that they bring the femininity of leadership, the intuitive, the, the ability to, to have discernment, the ability to follow their gut more often, to be more careful, uh, to be more mindful of resource utilization. Um, and there's issues of honesty, you know, are the words that come to mind, issues of stretching the dollar that come to mind, mm -hmm. issues of accountability. Um, women are more accountable, but issues also of uh, struggle. Women struggle a lot as leaders because First of all, the people that they lead sometimes have unrealistic expectations from them, um, but also the fact that also the men that they sometimes have to compete with, uh, the word competition may be a, a heavy word to use, but the reality is that uh, women are often competing for resources. So those are some of the things that come to mind in a community or in a market um, that always renders men uh, able to do a better job. Women have to prove themselves twice or thrice, but at the same time, uh, we also they, it's also been proven that m women are better uh, you know stewards of resources so it's a lot of excitement as well as uh, as well as a lot of challenges second question why is feminism important in leadership addressing leadership with feminism in mind acknowledges that women leaders have challenges that need to be acknowledged but also that women bring unique talents to the to the table and acknowledging that women actually can lead and they have solutions and that they have to be supported and that there are inequalities uh, that make it that make it difficult for women to be leaders um you know there's cultural religious le uh, attitudes and also corporate attitudes um issues of uh, lack of resources for women where people are used to women just doing things for free and when women are asking to be paid it's it's very difficult and for example in the civil society when women are asking for funding for their work you find that um, people are not willing to give women more money so it is important to acknowledge the challenges women leaders face it is important to acknowledge the 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 opportunities and the uniqueness that women bring to the table but also the knowledge about uh, their communities, knowledge about raising children. A lot of societies are raised by women. A lot of societies are raised by uh, women actually know how societies function. They bring expertise, they bring wealth of information um, to the table. So that is why it is important to acknowledge women leadership. Third question, can you give us an example of what feminist leadership looks like for you on a day-to-day -day basis? In feminist leadership, for me, on a day-to-day -day basis, is probably just sometimes remembering when I wake up that I'm a, I'm a rock star, I'm a badass, um, because I'm doing what I'm doing, because I've managed to exist and to survive for, the, for more than 10 years uh, doing the work that I'm doing, where I've been faced with closure, especially, for example, for my non-profit, Take Your Life International Tally, because of resources. Um, just keeping the op the doors open and keeping pushing. Um, it's just, you know, like a typical woman um, leader's um, day. And Dealing with men who would think that for a woman to be a leader or a woman to be uh, able to construct their own house, there must be a man around. And for them to respect and for them to, um, to give me a fair deal, I have to fight extra hard uh, to stem my authority and for them to not take me for a ride or to not uh, take advantage of me. To know that the world, especially fellow women across the world, across the continent of Africa, um, you know, and also like-minded men, um, you know, are celebrating me, are supporting me. I can share my struggles. 
and also to know that they are like-minded people uh, who are pushing for the agenda that we're pushing for women empowerment to know that there are churches that are also pushing the same ag agenda and holding men accountable these are some of the things that come to mind but also i'm aware of the struggle especially of going on social media to face on a day-to-day -day basis a lot of stories of women who abuse myself being abused for speaking out for sticking out my neck uh, for truth and also confronting even as we're in COVID 19 environment confronting the deaths left right and center but also confronting violence against women online um you know those are semi i mean those are many things and obviously confronting neighbors in my neighborhood who are hungry who i have to think sometimes every once in a while to share my food with because they cannot afford because the lockdowns but even over and above lockdowns we're living in an economy that has been struggling for years and years with more than 95 percent and 95 percent unemployment rates an unemployment rate informal employment where women have to survive informally and we are in a lockdown they do not have their likelihoods uh, their livelihoods because of covid 19 lockdowns so those are some of the the the, uh, the confrontations that i have every morning that i wake up but there's also beauty in africa i mean fourth question what have been the biggest challenges you have faced trying to mainstream feminist leadership in your sector i think some of the the things that i've already raised um issues of fundraising issues of raising resources issues of people believing you i think men leaders are generally less paid and um the overcoming religious and cult cultural practices where as a female leader you need to demonstrate that you are serious people take you not serious and also even the community can be your family that you come from they think that you must be a feminist at work and when you come back from work you must leave it at the door and then become a wife or a sister who's not speaking out loud and who's not challenging uh you know inequality in your family so those are some of the challenges and also fifth question what have been some positive results i think uh, for example as a leader as a person uh, who's led uh, my nonprofit for more than 10 years now actually for 10 years we're turning 10 this year um i think one of the th the key things that i would celebrate is just being to remain standing and being relevant for the last 10 years um in an environment that's been extremely difficult funding not not very easy to come by um also an economy which is not very easy or sexy as some donors would put it for donors to come to zimbabwe it's quite a, a very difficult economy so that's one thing i celebrate the biggest also thing that i celebrate is the ability to change uh the laws i led um a campaign for education for for free state funded education uh from 2017 to 2020 yeah uh, where we managed to to have the state to influence and lobby the state to put in place a law that allows poor children to have access to state-funded basic education according to this to the constitution more than 250 organizations signed up to this campaign and we we petitioned the minister we petitioned parliament for two and a half years we we're pushing and just last year beginning of last year 2020 uh, the president signed uh, the the education amendment act but also we curated uh, a leadership program for girls and young women in an organization called uh, Leadership Economic Mentorship Hubs, LEMS program. We're inspired by the fact that there's always talk that there are not enough leaders, whether we're talking leadership in, 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 in politics, leadership in governance, leadership in business. Um, and because I realized that uh, girls are raised in our culture uh, to be good girls and being a good girl means you don't participate in public life. You are not as participative. Uh, so we realized that by the time girls uh, reach their 18th birthday they're being um they're being oriented or they're being um raised to be good wives and all that and then as soon as they mature they get to be wives they don't participate in politics and all those things uh and by the time they come back later on they've missed out on a lot of things so we realize that it's important to orient and raise young women and girls who are empowered who know who they are who who are conscious about their rights uh, who are conscious about gender equality uh their capabilities and they're ready to to represent them themselves and others and are able to build movements with each other yeah. um and then of course we have 
uh, contributed to the constitution making in our country over the years through our participation in, in networks in coalitions we participate in africa african networks and coalitions as well as the globe we've been participating a lot at the um at the um uh, uh, at the Commission on the Status of Women, CSW, almost every year, much as we can. Um, and um, and I think we've won a, a couple of awards for our work, so I'm proud of that. Okay, last question. Any lessons learned? The biggest lesson learned for me is being a leader is not easy, um, but being a leader is also very rewarding. And women must be leaders we must raise our girls to be leaders unapologetically you must convince yourself that you're worth it you must convince yourself that the world is waiting for you you must believe your own story you must um you know convince your own self before you can convince others the moment you do that you have resolved to be a leader it's not going to be easy you're going to be fought by your own self you're going to be fought by your own family you're going to be fought by fellow women you're going to be fought by men who use other women and say, oh, look at these women, they can't work together. But you're going to have tremendous support from fellow women. I've been supported by sisters who are amazing. Uh, but there are also going to be men who are willing to support you. We celebrate such men. And...